Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Tacoma Park, Maryland with NOJ News 1 as he attempts to, well, develop a conspiracy theory as to why there is a, a food truck in a, in a parking lot. Yeah, some of these frauditors are just outright insane, if not totally off their damn rockers. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy. Enjoy the show. Y'all, I want y'all to see this. Okay, this is 6530 New Hampshire Avenue. Okay, this is at nighttime. But deep in the cut, deep in the cut, y'all, is a food truck. It's a food truck back here. Now tell me, this is me one here, but the other one is in the dark. It's in the dark back there. How in the hell are you serving food in the dark? Well, that one food truck over there clearly is open. It has all its internal lights on well you can clearly see the other truck that you're pointing out in the dark over there its internal lights are off sure it has that string of lights on the outside i guess somebody forgot to turn those off so which basically tells you that that truck is not in operation right now and not serving food food. Uh, that is something you can figure out using your brain. But apparently your brain is so fried, you just can't figure that stuff out. I mean, there's no conspiracy or anything like that. You're just a moron. Of an abandoned building, y'all. And the government not doing anything about it. Should they be doing anything about it? I mean... It's just a food truck that's currently not in service right now, just sitting in a parking lot doing nothing. I mean, uh, what's the government supposed to do about it? I mean, you tell me. I mean, I think the government has better things to do than worry about a food truck sitting in a parking lot over there. What is going on that we're being fooled? That we got a government that's being fooled like this. This is the abandoned. This is the abandoned tire company, y'all. This is at nighttime. That's the food truck right there, y'all. That's the Hispanic one in the food in the tire shop. But back here in the cut, that's another food truck in the cut, y'all. What the fuck is going on with our government? You're not even selling any food. Yeah, no one flagged this down. Oh, I get it, dude. You think that uh, truck is government-owned. Are you sure about that? Because, well, I see a lot of food trucks like that in my area, and they're privately owned. They're just entrepreneurs trying to start up a business and earn an honest living. Do you know anything about that, dude? Earning an honest living rather than acting like a complete moron? Walking around thinking that the government is out to get you? I mean, you need to do better than that, dude. Like you said, voicemail on the call. I'm gonna look at that. I want y'all to look at this. You're going up close. I was and look at this. looking back at you. That's one of the food right, trucks right there, y'all. Uh, That's at the tire shop. This is the one right here. But this is the other one. Look at this shit, y'all. This is so far in the hole that nobody can see it. This one here is at the tire shop. But this one is far in the back. And as you see, right down here, 
I should have bought my flash here. You can see the wiring where they have it hooked up to this food truck. At an abandoned building. Look at this. Well, perhaps this is where the owner stores his uh, tr uh, food truck at night. That way he knows where to find it when he is ready to go to work in the morning. I mean, these things are not government conspiracies all over the place. Most of these people are just wanting to go about their daily lives, earn money uh, for their families so they can, well, live their lives without... Well, acting like there's a bunch of people out to get him, the big bad boogeyman, which you seem to think there is. But that's just you. I mean, uh, to each their own. But let's continue on. This shit is crazy. And you're telling me our government is not doing one thing about it. This is real. I'm going to come in the daytime and show you how deep this thing is, is in the back. But look at the lights. In the back of this abandoned building. Adam, you locate anybody on And then they got the nerve to say it's open. Copy, thank you. Seven, all up clear. Okay, This shit crazy, y'all. Fucking crazy. Look at we got the police over here flashing his lights again. Over here, and I ain't got time for y'all. That's the popo over there guarding, uh, protecting again. We've got a male assaulted over at the Wahlberger, 2105, Ontario. But my thing is, Adam, one, if we got this training where these clowns don't know when criminal activity is taking place on some property, Thank you. Thank this you. shit is off the chain. Uh, dude, uh, cops respond to crimes. They don't exactly have insight to, into where it's going to take place at any given particular time unless somebody tells them that it's going to take place and then they form a sting operation. Man, you have got to be one of the dumbest frauditors I've ever seen on this on this platform. And I know you're a sovereign citizen as well because, well, Van Balen did a video on you a while back where you got arrested on your motorcycle and you are quite the uh, little dumbass there too. Now, I want y'all to look at this. This is an abandoned building. We have Jason calling. At 6530 New Hampshire Avenue. This is the tire company. Okay, that's the food truck at the tire company. This is the food truck at 6530. That's deep in the cut. Back there. This, if criminal activity ain't taking place up under our government, that is so stupid. Trying to call back for more info. So code one, is nine seven five one. And then we got the police sitting right across the street from them. Okay. Look at this shit, y'all. These are two food trucks. One is at six six zero zero, which is this one right here. And the other one is that one right there, y'all. Unbelievable. Y'all right, stand by. Shit, this is crazy in America. We have lost our mind in this country where we allow these individuals to do what they want to do when they want to do it without any accountability. Y'all crazy. This country has gone, has sold out. Y'all stand by. I'm confused here. Are you upset at the fact that uh, people are able to set up food trucks and uh, sell food to the public and uh, make an honest living? Uh, or what, what? what is your deal here? I don't understand. I mean, yeah, the government allows this because we are a free nation. And that appears to be what you were arguing right there, that you think we're some sort of totalitarian dictatorship that doesn't allow this kind of thing to happen. Hell, even in a lot of the dictatorships, they are, there are food trucks everywhere. I mean, good freaking grief, dude, you are a complete and total moron and deserve to be laughed at for your foolishness. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the psychotic video and I will see you on the next one.